hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys my entire jewelry collection and most of my jewelry is fine jewelry but most of them are actually not from your typical designer fine jewelry brands like cartier or van cleef and art pals or tiffany's and those type of brands so there's a lot of very unique pieces that i want to share with you guys and before we get into this video if you're new here hi my name is carol and i make a lot of videos on luxury fashion and style tips for the working woman so if you like this video please do check out my channel watch a few more of my other videos and subscribe so you don't miss out on my future uploads so i'm going to go through my jewelry collection from my rings to bracelets and then earrings and then i'm going to end it with my necklaces so let's get started Of course, the first rings I want to talk about are my engagement ring as well as my wedding band. So here I have the two of them on to show you guys. And I almost always have both of these rings on. And my engagement ring is a halo style ring. And then my wedding band is a kind of bubble design wedding band and it's an eternity ring. So the diamonds go all the way around. So I've seen the style of ring referred to as a bubble band or bubble and breath or floating diamond so what's really unique about it is that you see each diamond more defined on the ring and i just like the contrast that it gives the little pave diamonds on my halo style engagement ring so i actually picked out both of these rings myself and i'm really curious to know for you guys if you're engaged or married how much of an input did you give towards picking out your engagement as well as wedding rings? So of course these are so so special to me and the other rings I do love a lot also but I don't think they really rival how important these rings are to me so for my other rings I'll go in I guess the order of how often I wear them so I also have the sterling silver ring from Tiffany's and this was one of the first gifts from my now husband to me and it basically says i love you all over the ring so it is so sweet and i actually wear this a lot so after this i have this one really cute green jade ring from my mom and it has these two tiny diamonds on the side and I just think that this is so unique I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but it kind of looks like the jade in the center is glowing a little bit so it's so unique and I just think it is so pretty and I don't think that jade in general gets enough love in the world of jewelry so I love to wear this just because even though it is a colorful ring it is quite dainty still so next we have what I call my disco ball ring and as you can see right here it is the spherical ball shape with a bunch of tiny little diamonds all over it and it sparkles so nicely in the light so it really does look like a little disco ball on my finger and when I bought this ring it was alongside this ring right here which is this giant teal blue pearl on a very simple band but this pearl does make a very huge statement on its own but these two rings was actually sold to me as a set but they also look really nice separately which i tend to wear a lot and that's why i do tend to wear this smaller disco ball looking ring a little bit more because this is just a little bit bolder in my opinion but i do love the two of them Next, I have this very unique pearl ring. So the pearl itself is a kind of irregular shape. And then the prongs that are supporting the pearl aren't just very simple prongs. They are very intricately designed and all three prongs look slightly different and they have little diamonds all over them. And one of the prongs is actually in yellow gold compared to the white gold on the other prongs. So it just looks so unique and I think it's really one of a kind. And I really love how different this ring is. And my last ring is this ring with a cluster of pink and yellow diamonds all over it so these diamonds aren't super saturated in color because the ones that are very brightly yellow or pink cost so 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 much money but these are tinted enough so that you still see it is a colored diamond but the price tag on this is 
much more reasonable so i really love the way this ring looks it's just so intricate and it really does make such a big statement Now for my bracelets, the ones that I wear the most hands down are my two Cartier bracelets. So I have my love bracelet in the thinner small size and this was a gift from my in-laws as a wedding gift. And then I also have my thin version of the Justin Clue bracelet which was also a gift from my in-laws. It was gifted to me as a wedding set. So in Chinese custom, there is sort of a tradition to gift the bride with um, gold bracelets for her wedding. So this was what my in-laws gifted me and I'm going to show you guys what my parents gifted me a little bit later on. So I wear these so often, they just look great together or even separately, they also look really great. And up next is my diamond tennis bracelet. So this tennis bracelet has the diamonds on the front of it. It doesn't go all the way along the bracelet as you can see what will be kind of at the back of your wrist is just a simple white gold. So this is such a stunning piece. It is so simple and just a very classic style, but it does look so nice on my arm. And even though there are decently sized diamonds on the bracelet, it still is dainty enough to wear pretty often. So I do like to have this on my right arm because my Cartier bracelets I usually wear on the left. And the only thing is I do wish that this was a little bit more fitted to my wrist because it does tend to rotate around a lot. And because the diamonds are just on one side of the bracelet, sometimes they do end up at the bottom of my hand, but it's still so pretty overall. And as I mentioned before, this is the gold bracelet that my parents gifted me for my wedding and as you can see it is just such a humongous bracelet and this is pure gold so it is a very true yellow gold color and it's just so flashy that the only time I've ever worn this was on my wedding day. But the funny thing is I was browsing Dior's website a few months ago and I saw that they had a very similar looking bangle bracelet in a gold color and it was just as flashy. So it got me to thinking that, hey, if Dior can pull it off, maybe I can too. So I've been meaning to wear this a little bit more recently. I'm not sure how that is going to go, but I haven't really done it because I haven't been out much, but I am planning to wear this a little bit more going forward and we'll see how this goes. And my last two bracelets are my two Return to Tiffany's bracelets. So I have one of them with the pink color heart on it and then the other one is with the Tiffany blue color heart. And these were two of my first designer jewelry pieces and I really wore them so much at the time, but I can't even remember the last time that I wore either of these. Now for my earrings, the first pair I'm going to talk about are my Dior tribal earrings. So these earrings are probably the pair that I wear the most for my videos, but from a day-to-day -day basis, I don't actually wear these that much. And the reason is because this is actually just costume jewelry. And for filming a video where I only have it on for like about two hours max, it's okay. But if I were to wear this for a full day, it would actually really irritate my ears and it would kind of be in pain for a few days following. So I don't really wear them that much outside of filming my videos, but I do think that they look so pretty. So that's why I wear them in my videos. As for the earrings that I wear the most in real life, it is this pair that is super dainty and it has three little diamonds on each earring. And then it's kind of like a heart shape, but it's a little bit abstract. And then it comes down to a little bit of a squiggly detail at the bottom that kind of reminds me of a snake. So I've had this pair of earrings for so long and I love that because it is so small. It is just something that I can grab and go and it goes with so many of my outfits and also matches with so much of my other jewelry. 
And another pair of earrings that I wear all the time are these very simple hoop earrings. So this is the pair of earrings that I usually wear when I'm going for a very casual or laid back look. I just think it suits that style very well. And I've owned these earrings for so long and I really, really love them, even though there's not really much to them at all. And the funny thing is when I actually bought these earrings, I had wanted a pair that was a slightly smaller hoop, but I really can't remember why I ended up with this pair, but now I can't imagine it any other way because this is kind of like the perfect size. It's not too small, it's not too big. It's like the perfect in between. I sound like Goldilocks, don't I? So I don't really own much yellow gold jewelry because I don't really think it's that flattering on my skin tone, but this pair of earrings as well as the matching necklace is in yellow gold. And this is the oldest pair of earrings that I have. This I've actually had since I was a tiny little child. I used to own a matching bracelet along with the matching necklace that I'm going to show you a little bit later, but one, even if I had it anymore, it would no longer fit my wrist. And two, I believe I actually lost it. But this is very cute because it has these little diamonds arranged in a flower shape. And at the center of the flower is actually a green emerald. So I think it is so cute. And I've had it since I was a child. So of course I have to keep this. And I do really wear them a lot still. Let me say that I do not suggest you guys put on and take off so many pairs of earrings in a short span of time because, oh my gosh, my earlobes are really suffering right now. But anyways, this next pair of earrings is a dangly pair with a kind of dark blue gray colored pearl at the end of it. And then the part that dangles down as well as the part in my ear has a few little diamonds on it too. So I just think it is so pretty and I just love how unique these darker colored pearls are. And I have a necklace that has a similar colored pearl on it that isn't really a matching set with this earring like the previous one that I showed you, but I do like to wear them together. So I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Now this next pair of earrings is the pair that I wore on my wedding day and it's such a gorgeous piece of statement jewelry. But because of that, I don't really wear it that much on a day-to-day -day basis. I usually save it for date nights or special occasions. And when I do wear it, I usually keep the rest of my outfit and the rest of my jewelry very very simple just so i can let this gorgeous pair of earrings shine but even though i don't wear it that much it is definitely one of my favorites and this final pair of earrings is a pair from swarovski with some pink crystals at the bottom and then it has this little tinkerbell on both sides and this was a gift from my husband back when we were first dating so he didn't know that i'm very picky when it comes to jewelry and there are a lot of earrings that i actually can't wear so he got this for me and i tried to wear it but it really didn't work out for me so i told him and he was very understanding but i've kept them since then because it is just so special and the funny thing is this actually comes with one of those silicon type of backings for the earrings and i've basically thrown those out because wearing it with those backings just make things so much worse so when i used to wear these earrings i would just take the backings off another pair of earrings of mine and it kind of makes things a little bit better but still can't wear them without pain so it's just in my collection as a memory but i am kind of contemplating taking these crystals at the bottom and maybe putting them in a different pair of earrings and designing something so I could wear them. Let me know if you have any ideas what kind of design I can make with these crystals. I would really love to hear your suggestions. There's a few necklaces that I always wear and one of them is the one that I have on right now which is actually a mix of three different colored metals. So you have 
rose gold, yellow gold, as well as white gold, all in one necklace. And there are all these little spherical balls all throughout the necklace and they just get gradually smaller as you go further in the back and actually at the back of the necklace there is a longer chain where you can adjust just how long or short you want the necklace usually i just wear it on the shortest setting and this is what it looks like and i just love this necklace because since it is three different colors it really matches with basically anything else that I want to pair it with. And I just love how stunning and sophisticated and chic this necklace looks. Another necklace that I wear an absolute ton is this Diamonds by the Yard pendant necklace from Tiffany's. And in my most recent video prior to this one, I actually talked about how this necklace is not really the best value for your money and you can get a similar size diamond elsewhere for a fraction of the cost of this one. But I do really like the style of this. I just wish I had gotten it at a more affordable price instead. And it's just such a dainty piece that goes with everything. So that's mainly why I wear this an absolute ton. The only other necklace I own from Tiffany's is this Elsa Peretti initials necklace. So this was a gift from my husband and it is in a rose gold color, which he knew I liked, which is why he got it for me. And this is actually my only piece that is monogrammed or have my initials on it of any sort. And I just think it is so cute. This layers so nicely with a lot of my other necklaces. And the only kind of nitpicky thing I have to say about it is sometimes the letter does just flip over the other way. So it's not really a C anymore, but since this is kind of more of a script type of initial, it doesn't really stand out as an initial to begin with. So I think it's okay when it just flips over. I don't really mind it that much. I just wear it because it's a very special piece anyways. Now this necklace is the one that I said was a matching set with these earrings that I've had since I was a child. So I put these earrings back on to show you what they look like together because I basically always just wear them as a set like this. And this necklace is so dainty. It was probably more substantial on a tiny little kid compared to now, but because it is so small, I do really love it because I do really love dainty jewelry. So I really love how this looks together and it's just so different from a lot of the other things I own because this is the only type of emerald jewelry that I have. And here I have this necklace which is a shorter strand of pearls which I actually prefer to the longer pearl necklaces. I don't know, is it just me? Let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer shorter pearl necklaces or the longer ones? And I have it paired with my Dior tribal earrings because there's also a pearl on this. The difference is while this is costume jewelry, this is actually real pearls. And these pearls are actually all kind of a little bit irregularly shaped. They're not all perfect circles. And I think that just gives it a little bit of uniqueness to it. So I really love this necklace and I love pairing this with a lot of my very dressy dresses or outfits in general because I think this just looks so nice with those types of outfits and really brings out the feminine type of style that I love. And this necklace is the other one that I mentioned that is kind of like a matching set with a pair of earrings that I have but not quite really. So the earrings is actually kind of like a more blue toned type of pearl but the necklace is more of a dark gray and this necklace is so cute because it's a little bit of a teapot shape so I just think it's very whimsical and just such a cutesy little necklace to have but of course from far away you can't really see that it's a teapot it just looks like a little pearl that's on a pendant so I just think this is so cute but the only thing that unfortunately happened to this necklace is somehow I scratched the finish on the pearl a little bit. I don't know how that happened. It's been like this since probably close to 10 years ago at this point, but it doesn't stop me from wearing it and loving it. And pearls are notoriously hard to maintain. There is so much little things that you have to keep in mind when you're wearing pearls or storing it and maintaining it in general. So let me know down in the comments below if you would like me to do a video talking about how I maintain my jewelry and clean it and everything related to that, not just for pearls, but every other type of jewelry in my collection. So next I wanna talk about the three jade pendants that I own. And for me personally, 
I would never buy a piece of jade myself. So all of these pieces are actually purchased by my mom and gifted to me. I don't really wear them as much as I probably should because according to her, jade is actually good for your health and it keeps you safe. So maybe I should wear a little bit more, but I really don't. But let me know what do you guys think about jade? Is it something that you really like? Do you own any jade jewelry or do you not know much about it or prefer other types of jewelry more? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So this first jade necklace I have is kind of like this dark green barrel type of shape and different parts of the jade are kind of different colors, which is really true of all naturally occurring pieces of jade. Every piece is a little bit unique and different from the next. And if you find two pieces that are exactly the same, chances are it's probably man-made. So I think for that, it is very unique. So this piece has some parts that is kind of like a lighter green, but overall it is this very dark green. And I think it actually looks quite nice because from afar, it just looks black. But if you look up close, it does have this very rich kind of like dark forest green to it. So the other two jade pendants that I own is this one in a kind of a lighter green color. So it not only looks like the shape of a jalapeno pepper, but it also has the same sort of color. So this is also very unique. And then the one that I probably like the color of the most is this jade pendant right here, which is this gorgeous kind of lavender and lilac color. And as I am aware, lavender colored jade is a lot less common than the green variety. So this is very, very unique. And I just love the color. And whenever I wear my purple classic flap, which is unfortunately not that common, but whenever I do wear that bag, I love to pair it with this pendant just because it's in the same color family. So this necklace is the necklace that I wore on my wedding day, and I actually had my earrings picked out and decided before I bought this necklace. So I purchased this because I thought it matched really nicely with the earrings, and it also matched with my dress too. All along the necklace, there are these tiny little diamonds scattered along it. So I just love how that adds a little extra sparkle to this necklace. Now there's a funny story to how this necklace came to be. So the diamond at the center of this pendant used to be part of a pair of earrings that my mom owned. So we were on vacation a long, long time ago and somehow she ended up losing one of those earrings and she had meant to replace the one that she lost for the longest time, but somehow buying a diamond that matched this one ended up costing more than it would cost to buy a whole new pair of earrings. So she ended up buying a whole new pair of earrings and just left this in her closet for the longest time. So recently she decided to take this diamond and make it into a necklace for me. So this is what she ended up having designed and the outer pieces of it are all mother of pearl. And finally, of course, I saved my most blinged out piece of jewelry for last. And that is this pendant necklace right here, which was also picked out and purchased for me by my mom. And the funny story behind this necklace is it's identical to a design by David Yurman, specifically their Starburst necklace. And I didn't know it at the time. And my mom definitely didn't know it either because she doesn't really care about designer brands. She only really shops at local jewelry store so the way that I found out about the David Yurman necklace was I was shopping at the mall with my husband and we passed by the David Yurman store and outside their store window was a poster with this exact style of necklace on it so it was just really funny but I'm still wearing this necklace so that is it for this video showing you guys my entire jewelry collection and I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below which piece I showed you guys was your personal favorite. Or if you wanna take it a step further, let me know which was your personal favorite out of each category that I mentioned. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing. 
as well as hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on my future videos at least every single Thursday. And I'll leave two videos up on the screen for you to watch next, so I'll see you very soon. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.